starts out uh, in a certain direction and suddenly gets given, gets made king, in effect, at the beginning of the play, out of nowhere. It's un unexpected. It, it, it's a question of how unexpected that is in different productions, but in our production, it's completely unexpected. So he's kind of taken from the back benches to being the president, um, in effect. And so it's a huge thing for him. And we decided that our Angelo is someone that's been quite vocal from the back benches, saying that the law should be like this. It should be down the line. That's the only way to do it. And so when he gets given that power, he pursues that ruthlessly and relentlessly, uh, fundamentally. Um, and then he meets this woman in a certain complicated circumstance who's pleading for her brother's life, who's been put to death by him. And he completely falls for her from nowhere. He's had no experience of women, we decided, very little. Um, and suddenly he just, everything comes rushing out and fixes on this woman. And he doesn't really know how to handle it. And he gets himself into a terrible situation by demanding this woman's love in quite a dark way. Um, but then as the play progresses, it's what happens at the end that is the real epiphany for him because I think he's shown a certain amount of mercy unexpectedly at the end of the play, which is what really shakes him out of his evil, if you like. And so I think that's what it's about for him. It's a, it's a real journey for him, and that's what's interesting about playing him.